Whenever you learn your brother and I is coming to town, we just personally get into the kitchen and prepare the meal. Yes, now. It's children we're talking about. <laughs> I don't chop me till later. Of course, I know that. Don't worry. In 10 minutes, I'll be done. Are you sure? I'll be done. Okay, then I'll be waiting for you in the meal. Alright. Alright, see ya. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Ten minutes has turned to thirty minutes. I told you I need to rush no, out. Babe, I'm trying to, you know, he's your special. You know what? Um, I'll still eat that food, but let me go where I'm supposed to, please. Mm -hmm. Just keep it when I'm back home. Babe, please. Sorry, let me take this call. Hello? Yes, I am. Who is this? What? Where? What is it? How? What is it, babe? Okay, which hospital? Alright, I'm coming there right away, please. What, what is it? Please, what is it? Trudy was involved in a ghastly motor accident that damaged his car beyond repair. Jesus! No. I, I need to rush there now. Please, I'll see you when I'm back, please. No, 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 hey! Okay. Hey! Anoti! 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 Please. Watch over the kids. I thought something was on the fire. We're rushing up to the hospital. Be right back. Yes. So I, I cannot risk it, please. He's my only brother. I, I want to take him away from here and fly him abroad for treatment. Even if you want to do that, you still have to wait. You can't fly him out in this condition. Doctor, please, but can we at least see him, please? I'm sorry, ma, you can't. Once he's due for you to see him, I'll let you know. If only I can control his rigorous internal bleeding, then I assure you there's nothing to worry about. So please, just do everything you can to make him stable. I'm willing to write you a check of any amount you need. Just make sure he's fine. Please. God alone gives and takes lives. One thing I can assure you is he's still breathing and he's still alive. Please, do your best, I beg you, please. Okay. <laughs>
Judy, my husband, asked us to go together. But I refused because of you. I want to remain here until you wake up. I want to be the first person you will see when you wake up. And I know that will be sooner than I expected. You are stronger than this. You are stronger than your pain. You are stronger than your fear. I've always known you to be a warrior. So fight. Fight it. Please, for my sake. <laughs> Where's the new boy? He's, He's coming. What's he doing inside? Sunday! Sunday! Adam. Oh, that's him. Okay, welcome, sir. You're welcome. Okay. Open the trunk, get the wheelchair from there, disembark it, and help him in. Okay, sir. Your work starts now. Okay, sir. Thank you. What about his house in BH? I've told his house boy and his security guy to just keep an eye on the house and take care of everything until he's back to his feet. I'll be paying their salaries from here. His office? What about his office? No, no, his office will remain locked for now. We're not worrying about work now, no. He'll be with us until he's strong enough to go back to BH. But for now, 
he's going to stay with us. You're not sleeping. See, I'm not sleeping. I'm fine. Look at the time. You need to go to bed, please. Mm, I know. Time I take you to bed. The day is almost, almost breaking. I am off in sleeping. Just leave me alone. Yes. How was your night? Okay, I actually came to find out what you will have for breakfast. I don't need your food. Chodi, believe me, I totally understand how you feel. But you have to understand that Get we... Out. She... Get out! Jeez. Sorry. Judy something to take. Yes. Good. So how is he? He's fine. Thank God. I just hope he recovers quickly. And I believe the time will get over that. Oh, okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. He said I should bring him to read paper. Oh, thank you. Ago, how was your night? Excuse us. Is that written on you? Mm. Everything is not fine. Why? What's wrong? I didn't sleep a wink throughout the night. Why? I was thinking. About what? My children. Your children? Are you alright, children? What are you talking about? What is he talking about? See that I'll be my wife. Don't you dare. Step an inch out of this place. And you've told him what he needs to know. My love. What's going on here? 
I'm confused too. I don't know what he's talking about. What children is he talking about? What's going on? Uh -huh, I have no idea. Obviously, it's the effect of the drugs. You can see. Would you? Are we if you check it well. Please, in the name of God, forgive me. I will not intentionally put you through such. Please. In the name of God, for the sake of the children, for my marriage. What becomes my fate now? What is my lot now? I, I trust God. Let's keep believing in God. I know He will restore you. Please. Please, for the sake of the children. For, for God's sake, too. Really? Please. Judy, please. I need to be left alone. Ah. Get out. Okay, fine. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Life. 
actually believe in your brother. <laughs> Listen to me, I have no idea of whatever he was trying to talk about. Obviously his health is beginning to affect him. You can see it has turned him to a sadist. So, is that who you, you're trying to believe right now? Over me? You expect me to believe you? Sweetheart, you have to believe me. I have no idea. I mean, absolutely no idea of what whatever he was trying to talk about whether he has a child anywhere in the world i juma i do not know interesting this man's sickness is beginning to affect him you should sweetheart babe <sighs> Oh, <laughs> 
How are you? Fine. How was school fine. today? School was fine. Good. Daddy. Yes? Uncle Judy said you should stop calling him uncle. Why? I don't know. What did you do to him? We did nothing. Although he was upset, he said that he's not our uncle, that he's our father. This morning. I will actually. I'm just trying to finish this chapter. How about the kids? Have they gone to school? Yes, about an hour ago. Oh, good. Have you seen Judy this morning? Not yet. Please, you should. Won't you eat today? I will do that right now. Let me go serve him his breakfast. Okay, thank you very much. has decided to let everything go. He doesn't want to talk about it at all. I am here to plead with you. Please, Judy. In the name of God, I'm begging you. Help me save my marriage. Let it go. Please. Let bygone be bygone. 
please, don't spoil my life. Now, do you want to tell me what happened? Baby, please, 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 please. Get away the gun. Please, 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 please. Yes, I will do. I will tell you everything. Will you speak? Jesus, 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 please, 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 please. No, 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 shoot me, please. Please, please, put away the gun. No, 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 please, 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 I will talk. There's nothing to be in that freedom, baby. What is the essence of my existence? When I can't even move. Brother, pull the trigger. No, 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 please, 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 please. Shut me! No! Kill me! I will tell you everything, please. Please, he's me. He's me. I'm listening. Yeah, I'm curious, baby. Is anything wrong in both of us? Going for medical checkup to find out what is stopping us from having our own children. Everything is wrong with that. I mean, this is just two years into our marriage, and you're already running helter skelter in search of the fruit of the womb. What's that? Baby, the whole weight is on me. I'm a woman. A lot of expectations on me. Okay? The earlier I start seeking for the solution to this problem, the better for me. As far as I'm concerned, there's no problem here. None at all. Baby, are you saying our inability to have our first issue since two years of being married isn't a problem to you? How is that a problem? I know we don't have any problem. We're both sound, so in God's time, we will have our own children. Please, stop worrying your head about this and go to bed. Oh. Ah. From the result of the test conducted on you, shows you are very much okay and fit to have a child. Yes. See, there is nothing wrong with your reproductive system. Absolutely nothing. So, uh, I will advise you to, to invite your husband for medical checkup. Doctor, the problem with my husband is that he doesn't like it anytime I speak to him about going to see a doctor to ascertain the actual problem with him. You see, that's my problem. Well, you must find a way to convince him to come. Yes, because most times the problem might not be coming from you, maybe from him. So you have to try, you have to convince him to come. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you so much for being helpful. Baby, I went to go see a doctor today. After a series of tests, he confirmed that I'm perfectly fine. And now asked me to bring you to come run yours. To bring me? On whose agreement did you go to see a doctor? <laughs> did you and I ever come to such arrangements? So, baby, I'm just... But what? Why are you trying to prove stubborn all the time? Since you have decided not to listen to whatever I say in this house, go ahead and do your will. Mtu. Ama. Please, what is the color of your problem? No, why do you have problem with literally everything I am doing to solve our problem? And I keep telling you that we have no single problem in this house. Abiyanuju, do not create one. Oh yeah? Oh, I see now. No, now it's clear that you are hiding something. Yes, keep hiding. <sighs> Me, I don't know what is wrong with you. If there's anything you are hiding, you better come clean. Just say it. Say it. No, this does not have anything to do with me nagging or stuff, right? I'm a woman. I just want to have my own child. Even if it's just one, yes, just like every other woman. How is that too much? No, how is that too much? To be honest with you, your absolute refusal to go see a doctor to know if there's any problem with your reproductive organ that can be corrected is a red flag. A serious red flag. It shows you are hiding something. Yes! 
she was hiding something. My dear, it's obvious that something is wrong with him and he's hiding it from you. I know. Please, what do you advise I do? You have to bear your cross. You have to bear your cross. Hey. I say, will bear my cross. What cross? Eh? Look at me. There is absolutely nothing wrong with me. In quotes, I am perfectly fine. Look what this man is doing to me. Like, literally, everyone is calling me barren right now. What is this? I understand you very well. But there's something you need to understand. In marriage, there is cross to carry. Do you understand? There is a cross to carry. And you only have two options. Which are? Be patient with him. Convince him to go and see the doctor. Oh? Huh? Or you do what I did. And I am happy about it. I have nothing to worry about. No. Please. What did you do? No. Never. I love my husband so much. He can't betray our love. And something must be done. Yes, something must be done. Pastor. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine, sir. I hope he's around. Yes, sir. Please call him. Okay. Please, what can I offer you first? I'm okay. Except for the King Joe. Just water. Cold water. Okay. I'll be right back. My pastor is here to see you. Your pastor? Yes. What business do I have with your pastor? I'm not a member of his church. Maybe. <laughs> well, you don't have to necessarily have business to do with him. He called me this morning saying that uh, he wants to see us and it's important. Tell him I have no intentions of seeing him. I should. Baby, you have to see him, please. It doesn't bite. Hmm? Baby. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you doing? We're fine. Huh? Make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah. I was almost on my way to work when she told me something was saying. I hope all is well. Yes. Um, all is well. Good. Just that I have this leading of the Spirit of God to come and pray for you and your wife concerning the challenges you are facing presently. I'm sorry, sir, but we are not facing any challenges. I mean, the challenges of your childlessness for... And who told you we are childless? Um, yeah. Well, I know that you know what. I have seen that you're one of those men who go about looking for whom to destroy. In the name of God, I will not let you do that to my home. Now get your butt off my couch and leave my house. Please take it easy, sir. I said get out of my house. Please take it easy. 
Well, sorry, sir. But the Holy Spirit. If you do not leave my house this moment, please, the Holy Spirit will shave your head. Get out of my house! I say Holy Spirit. Rubbish! Oh my god. Sweetheart, what happened? What's this? Hey. Let this be the last time you will invite this ragamuffins into my house again in the name of you looking for a child. The next time you do it, you will not just live with them, but I will make sure you never step your feet into this house again. Say it. Once and for all. I am here now. You're crying. What is it? Is it not your brother? Can you imagine he slapped me this morning before going to work? My brother slapped you? Hold on. Come here. Respect. How could you lay a finger on your wife? She deserves more than this now. Huh? How could you do that? But you don't know how lucky you are to have Ojo as a wife. You don't. You need to see how people envy your marriage. People want to be like you. People want to emulate you in your marriage. And here you are beating her up. Why would she go about soliciting sympathy from people over her childlessness in just two years? Isn't that too early? She's only being a woman. You and I know that the general pursuit of every woman in life is to have a good husband like you, then bear children for this man that they got married to. You don't have to be harsh on her now. I am this man in question and I am her husband. All she needs to do is listen to my instructions. That is it. Whether you have a good wife, Uju is exceptional. You need to see how women live in their houses with their husbands. Even our parents can attestate to her godly virtues. You don't need to be harsh on her now. Hmm? I've heard you Wifey, wifey. <laughs> you know she does not do that. So, please, 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 I'm actually not in the mood. It's so sad. That is what I To put you back in the mood. For your laughing. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, <laughs> uh, well, anyways, I mean, I spoke to my brother. Hmm. And trust me, he regrets his actions. Uh, 
I want you to also help me finance some home while he has refused to see a doctor to help us explain the actual problem with this reproductive system. Because I don't know why something as little as that should bring a problem between a husband and wife. Wife, I must worry. Please, everything will be sorted out. Okay? To be honest with you, I am actually very worried. Very, very worried. Because it's me to act like I see if there's something he's hiding. No, because this is very simple. Why would something as little as that cause a problem between us? Life is not hiding anything, believe me. You see, some men are usually in the same They don't even go for this test completely. They go to the shop that there's something wrong, there's a problem. Let's just say when they come into bringing their lives. Okay? What if there's actually something wrong? Not all the wrong. Trust me. Right? You see, my brother is of European and it's different language. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mmm. 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 Honey, sweetheart, I am deeply sorry for today's incidents. It was not my intention, honestly. You know I'm not a violent person. I'm sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I promise it won't happen again. Please. I love you. Love it. Let's go to bed. Oh my God, sweetheart. You cannot believe this. Like, I'm still in shock. Do you know for the very first time, your brother, my husband, yeah. apologized to me? Yeah. This is something he has never done since I married him. Like, how? I know. But I told you. I told you. <laughs> oh my God. You must have really spoken some sense into him to be able to convince him because that man, I'm sorry, are in a serious war. Yeah, yeah they are in a love and hate relationship. It doesn't come out of his mouth. How are you able to convince him? Okay, let's say I deserve... A trophy. Seriously, you do. I told you I have the key to oh, everything. No, I believe you right now because I've seen. Yeah. I'm testifying. And you're happy. Oh, I'm so happy. You grin from cheek to cheek. Thank you. <laughs> and please, do not tell me you're still going back to PH today. Yes, I have to. No, so that you no, 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 I have to. Why, if you please? Go. Please, can you just do one more day with us? Wifey, stay today. You go tomorrow. Wifey, I'm having my monthly meetings, monthly office meetings tomorrow, and I already told my brother that I'm leaving today, and I have to be there. Yes. Well, you know you you are the boss. You can always change it. Hmm. And as for my husband, I know what to tell him. Why, why, why are you always please. doing this? Why are you always... This is a very difficult task, but... Please, it's not it's difficult. Okay. It's... I'm just asking for one more thing. Alright, so since it's coming from you, my favorite wifey, I give it. <laughs> no, I've already told my brother that I'm leaving today, but it's okay. You are not leaving today. You are not leaving. Wait, let me go make your special for you. I believe you. <laughs> my only wifey. <laughs> The only wife I married from my brother. <laughs> you amaze me most times. How do you mean? How can you leave your brother at home all alone with your wife? <laughs> this guy, you know well, Lou. Uh -uh. How can you even conceive such a dirty thing in your mind? <laughs> is that what you think? That is what it is. 
We're talking about my brother, my blood brother. Listen to me. Trudy will be the last person on this planet Earth to even think it, let alone do anything like that. Come on, stop, stop imagining things. To trust nobody. <laughs> brother, I grew up with this guy. I know him like the back of my palm, okay? I can vouch for him. I can even stake my dollars. That's Judy. Will never think about doing something as dirty as that. So bring your minds out of the gutters. Well, uh, takes a man with no experience to make such statements of yours. Judy, there's something I am trying to understand. You came from the same womb with my husband, but yet you're totally different. Wife. Such is life. Well, if you have not heard of that saying, and they saying, one mother gives birth, but created by a different God. Have you not heard it? So that is it. You're right. Because you are very caring. It's fun to be with. Unlike my husband, who is totally mean and cold. Oh, is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> please, please, please. Listen to me, it's my husband. Oh, it's a case study. Yes, you know, sometimes I try to, 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 to understand him from his own point of view, but at the same time, it's difficult. Yeah, it feels like an inherent trait, yeah? I don't know. He, he's just totally different from you. Huh? Maybe. Just maybe because he has made a lot of money. This does not have anything to do with money. Listen to me. He feels that money is everything. That with his money, he can make a woman happy by buying you whatever you want and, you know, like anything money can have. But that is not what every woman, I mean, my type wants from a man. Like yourself, you are very caring, fun to be with. You know how to make a woman happy. That my husband, he doesn't have time. All he thinks about in his head is money, 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 money. Here yeah, I am thinking I'm following his footsteps. I'm actually trying to copy my elder brother. Please don't copy him. <laughs> You're such an angel, a sweet one at that, please. Okay, don't worry, wife. I'm sure with time he will change for good. Huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> It's not going to change. It doesn't look like it's going to change. Like I said, it looks like an inherent trait. Something he was born with, you know? You know what? I still love him like that. So he doesn't have anything to do with money. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wifey, hold on. Are you sure? Because there's this general perception about women. Every woman loves money. Yes. Tell yourself the truth. Are you sure? Excluding me, darling. Truly, excluding me. Because if it's about money, I've got a whole lot of men who would willingly want to give me money. Yes. Uh, but of course, you know, not in this family. And not in this house. <laughs> you are here to stay, not because of money. No, I'm not thinking to what. That's what I'm saying. I love your brother for who he is. But... It doesn't change the fact that he's very mean. It will change with time, don't worry. <laughs> You're basically ignorant. The truth is, um, <clears throat> I have set up a business for him in Port Harcourt, a new business, and I got him an apartment worth about 70 million naira so that he can start his life. Are you serious? Yes. I mean, we are just the two sons our parents had, and we suffered a lot. At some point in our lives, we could barely afford a meal a day. So now that God has blessed us, it's only proper that we enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's my only brother, so I need to put him through. Well, uh, you're a man of a golden heart. Just keep doing what you're doing. Sure, definitely, I will. I need to tidy up with this, tidy this proposal and send it out before the end of work today. Okay. So, let me be honest with you, right? When it comes to love making, your brother is minus zero. 
I'm sorry, not sorry. This is the truth. No, that's not true. Ah. Don't say that. My own brother. I know that. I can't believe you. You don't believe me. I don't believe you. Wait a minute. I am telling you right now, as his wife, the only thing he knows <laughs> is to jump in, jump out, back and forth. He doesn't care about parenting, for play. He is nothing but a selfish love maker. No, I don't care. It's not about himself. He wants to get himself satisfied. He doesn't care about whether the wife climaxes or not. He can go there, but climax anywhere. None of his business. No, he has to change. <laughs> ah, yes, he has to. There's a woman who, who has a beautiful and sexy woman like this. He's always, as a matter of fact, he's going to satisfy himself, doesn't he? So I'm pushing you into this presentation. <laughs> yes. Well, let's say because he has confidence in me, you feel like. As a wife, I would never cheat on him. And talking about changing, it's not going to happen. Because do you know how many times I've tried to get adult movies for him? Like, I tried to force him to watch it. He trashed everything. I actually bought them with my money. He trashed it and told me never to ever bring it up to him again. No, my wife, you don't have that. You're still very young to be not very inside of you. He doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, now I see the reason you said we are two different people. I'm to see. You see now? Because you see me standing over there. Any woman I make love to, we won't forget to see my problem. Yes. You see, my exes that are married, they keep calling me. And you see, my husband is quite different from you. He doesn't know how to take care of me. He doesn't know how to do this. He doesn't know how to do that. They keep reminding me of my late making promises. Because you see me here, I can make a woman come again and again. So don't worry, I'll talk to him. So, what do I help you? What are we doing? You fried rice or fries? Go for that fries, go check them. Is in the car already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll be waiting. You are going. When next are we seeing you? Ha! I don't know for now, but <laughs> it's, it's not a problem. That sounds like forever. Ha! Wifey! Not to worry, eh? <laughs> she and I will be coming home for Easter to be with my man, Papa. Hey, this Easter? Yes. And then good then, Easter. Sweetheart, mm -hmm. Easter is very far. Eh? No! Maybe he should pack his bag and come live with us permanently. Later this now. <laughs> it's a good idea. It's a very good you idea. Do, you, do, you don't want to live with us. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to get Why? you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Wifey. <laughs> don't worry, I'll miss you. You know what? Brother already said Easter, we're going to come. So we're going to see Easter. And that period, I'll be able to spend like four, five, six days or more days with you. Okay, with you guys. So they shall we? Yes, of course. I'll see you guys. <laughs> 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 